Greetings and salutations. This is JJ Brost with the National Weather Service in Tucson, Arizona. Today is Wednesday, February 26th, 2014, and it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This briefing is valid for Friday, February 28th through Sunday, March 2nd. After a prolonged period of warm and dry conditions, a significant change in the weather is coming to Arizona, starting on Friday and lasting through the weekend. This briefing will discuss the potential for rain, snow, strong winds, and possibly some dust with the approaching event. Starting on Friday, this weather system will bring gusty winds prior to the rainfall. This map shows our current expected wind gust values on Friday. The western deserts, or western Pima County, will be facing wind gusts around 20 miles per hour. But as we move further east across Arizona and toward New Mexico, these wind gusts are likely to exceed 30 miles per hour. Since we've been so dry lately, our concern is that the winds may trigger some blowing dust across southeast Arizona. These winds are expected to blow from the southwest, as noted by the black arrow on this map. This means the winds will be perpendicular to Interstate 10 between Tucson and Phoenix. These situations are conducive to the relatively small channels of dust that blow across Interstate 10 and often result in traffic accidents. We are still not 100% confident that the dust will occur, but this is a situation to be especially careful if you are traveling along Interstate 10 or any roads near large desert areas with abundant dust. This map displays precipitation amounts across much of Arizona. These amounts represent our current best guess for the total amount of precipitation we will receive from Saturday through Sunday. Notice the bullseye, represented here by the yellow and orange colors, for the heaviest rainfall is expected to fall across the central portion of our state, or roughly between Flagstaff and, say, Oracle. However, much of the state is looking at precipitation amounts of at least one half inch, which is denoted by the lighter green colors. With the rain comes impacts. In this case, we are looking for wet roadways with some ponding of water on the roads possible. We may also experience localized flooding in the heaviest rain areas, but we're not yet too concerned over a widespread flooding event. Finally, some of this precipitation will fall as snow. I will discuss the snow forecast on the next slide. So here I've drawn a generic mountain and listed several southeast Arizona locations on the mountain in relation to their elevation. The main point here is that we are expecting heavy snow, but only in the highest terrain. The white area on this mountain, for instance, represents the areas we expect some snowfall, and the green area is where we think it's mostly going to be rain. That's because this is a warmer system, so the snow levels are going to be quite high for this time of year. The heaviest snow is expected above 7,500 to 8,000 feet, and should get started on Saturday, lasting into Sunday. In these highest locations, we may see up to two feet of snow. The snow level then may drop as low as 6,500 feet late Saturday night into Sunday morning. In these cases, snow amounts are going to range from, say, a few inches up to a foot of snow, especially as you get closer to that 7,500 foot mark. Impacts from the snow will include possible road closures in the high terrain, some slick or snow-packed roads, and maybe some blowing snow on Saturday, causing reduced driving visibility. I want to make one quick note on our current forecast confidence. We currently have high confidence in two aspects of this system, the gusty winds on Friday and the chances for mountain snow and valley rain over the weekend. We have slightly less confidence in the potential for blowing dust on Friday and the final amount of rain or snow we receive during the weekend. Thank you very much for watching this briefing. As always, you're welcome to contact us through our webpage at weather.gov Tucson, or please find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.